Hey guys, what's going on? This is JR, and as promised, I have Peacekeeper info for you guys. Now, my thoughts on this gun, I think it is actually a very good gun. It is, to start off, it's a assault rifle and a submachine gun mix. It's sort of a hybrid, kind of like, well, I can't really think of anything it is actually like, but it, it it's, it's actually really good, and it is in the SMG category, but I would say it's more of a hybrid exactly right in the middle. Now, what makes it that way is the range. Now, the range of the Peacekeeper is amazing. It sometimes matches most of the assault rifles and is actually better than a lot of them. So, it is actually better than assault rifles. That's why I would categorize it also in the assault rifle range. Now, of course, it is an automatic firing gun and the magazine is 30 bullets. With extended mags, it's 40, but then how it becomes a submachine gun. The firing rate is just a little bit faster than some assault rifles. It's 750 rate, um, rounds per minute. Now that that may seem like a lot, but it really isn't in comparison to the Scorpion and the Vector, which are 900 rounds, a little less than 900 for the Vector, but Scorpion is 900 rounds per minute, that's a lot. Now the damage on this is 33 to 18, depending on how far away you are, but it has a very good uh, damage rate, um, especially at long range, it's better than any of the uh, other SMGs at long range. It's definitely got a great sight on it, so you don't really need even a red dot sight. Um, and other than that, it has no recoil now. That's right. It has no recoil if any of you remember the ACR from uh, Black or sorry ACR from Modern Warfare Modern Warfare 2 uh, That thing was like a freaking laser now. It didn't have any recoil. You could just take them out really close It was just, just just take them out like it has no recoil you aim down and you're always gonna hit your target That makes getting the headshots easier and it also could make getting gold camo now, other than that, the thought on gold camo. Now, if all of you have been trying to get diamond camo like I am on my P on my SMGs, getting gold camo on the Peacekeeper does not affect getting diamond camo on all your SMGs. But getting diamond camo on the Peacekeeper, you need to have gold camo on all the other SMGs. Now, that kind of is a little different than what we thought when we first heard the Peacekeeper was coming out, but apparently it is going to be it is going to be like that and i am going to work on that i'm almost at gold with my peacekeeper uh in this gameplay you don't really see that but i'm only on like the fifth camo but i am almost at gold i'm past the headshots i'm ready to go and uh other than that i have three more smgs to go for gold and then i'll have diamond on all my guns now that is awesome diamond looks so awesome but i would love to have diamond on the peacekeeper and as soon as this gun came out, a couple days after, already people had diamond on it. So it's fair, fairly easy, especially with the Peacekeeper, because of the accuracy on this and the no recoil allows for getting headshots a lot easier. So what do you guys think of uh, this gun? What do you think of it? Leave a comment below on what you guys have to say about it. If you like it, if you don't like it, I don't care. Just leave a comment. Subscribe if you like the channel, if you like the videos. Like the video if you like the video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.